Hi, and welcome back to our Excel training videos. In this video, I want to go ahead and show you how to use the filter tools. Now, again, I'm back here on my list, and if you've watched some of our other videos on some of the managing lists of information tools, you'll remember a couple things about the way our lists need to be set up. The first is that every list needs to have a header row. And the header row is basically just the first row in your list that has the different column names in it. And in this case, when we're talking about a list of information, the columns are actually called fields. So we have the division field, the department field, the position field, so on and so forth. So you need to have a header row in your document. And there's no way to just simply tell Excel that that's the header row. You just simply make it the first row in your list and then change the formatting so it looks different than every other row in your list. In this case, I've changed the font color, made it bold, and changed the background color. So it looks very different from my data rows. Now, to use the filter tool, you're going to click anywhere in your header row, and then click on the filter button right here. When you click the filter button, you're going to see drop-down arrows appear to the right of each one of your field names. To use the filter, you simply click the drop-down arrow and select the items that you want. And here you're going to see all the positions, and here you'll see the departments. Now right now all of my departments are selected, and you can see the Select All button here. But let's say if I just wanted to see the people in the Art Department. I'm going to uncheck Select All so it clears all those checks, and then just click Art. I'll click OK. And the list has now been filtered, so you're only seeing people in the art department. Now, you didn't lose the other information. As a matter of fact, if you look over here to the left, you're going to see your different row names, or row labels, and you're going to see the numbering skip some items. We go from 5 to 34, and then we stop at 41 and jump to 120. So it didn't remove the information. All it's doing is hiding all the information that doesn't meet the criteria that you set up here. If I want to see the entire list again, I can simply come up here to the Sort in the Filter area on the Data tab and click Clear. And the list is now restored, so I can see all of my items. If I click the Filter button, it'll turn the filter arrows off. You'll see my list is now back to normal. To turn it back on, again, you just click somewhere in your header row, and then click on the Filter button right here. And the drop-down arrows appear. So now I can click the drop-down arrow for Division, and I could select just the Teaching Aids Division. So now I'm only seeing people in Teaching Aids. But let's say I only want to see the people in um, the Accountant position in the Teaching Aids Division. Well, now I'm going to go ahead and click this drop-down arrow here again, Uncheck Select All, and just click Accountant. And I'll click OK, and I can see there are two accountants that are assigned to the Teaching Aids Division. I can change that again. I can click the drop-down for Division here, and now I just have Teaching Aids selected. I can uncheck that and check Games, and click OK, and there are the two accountants that are assigned to the Games Division. If I want to see all the accountants, I can simply click that drop-down arrow right there, and click Select All, so I'm showing everything, or click Clear Filter from Division. Either way will work. And now you're seeing all the people, regardless of their division, that are in that accounting position. Now again, if you want to restore your list so that you can see everything, all you have to do is click the Clear button right here. Clicking the Clear button will restore your list, but it won't turn the filter off. Again, to turn the filter off, you've got to click on this Filter button right here. If you have a filter applied to your list, when you turn the filter off, it will automatically clear the filter so you won't lose any information. See here, I've got my filter applied. Now I'm going to turn it off by clicking the Filter button here. And you'll see my list is now back to normal. If I want to turn the filtering back on, I just simply click anywhere in the header row and then click on Filter. My drop-downs are back. So that's simply how you use the filter tool to filter by different criteria that are in your cell. In the next video, we're going to talk about using the filter tool with conditional formatting.